everybody, Crypto Hedge here with a quick tutorial on how to properly and successfully mine Vertcoin. Now we're going to go from the very beginning until the very end so that you guys can have everything you need to properly mine it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to have to buy a GPU card. Now people have been asking if you can use an AMD card to mine Vertcoin. You might be able to, but it's very inefficient and it's really not the right way to go. Now here, right here is the 1080 Ti, which is actually the most efficient GPU card to mine Vertcoin. I'm currently using the 1050 Ti, but it works well. Uh, and also you can use the 1070 Ti as well. You can buy this GPU card on Amazon. I'm going to put the link in the description. Uh, you can get it in two days if you have Prime, which is pretty cool. So right here is the mining rig. You're going to have to put this GPU card in your computer, uh, your desktop computer. You can mine off of a laptop, but it's just a lot harder and a lot more of a hassle. So it's best to use a desktop Windows computer or Linux computer to implement your GPU card into your computer. Now, once you have your GPU card in your computer, you're basically set and ready to go. Now, there's going to be four things that you're going to have to download to properly start mining uh, Vercoin and also set up your driver for the GPU card. Now you're going to have to download the GPU driver. So you're gonna to go to geforce.com slash drivers. You're going to select which GPU card you have. I'm using the, GP, the GeForce 10 series, the 1050 Ti. So I'm gonna select that. And I'm also using Windows 7 64 bit. Make sure if you have a Windows 7 computer or even a Windows 8 computer, you're gonna to have to choose 64 bit or 32 bit. And you can check and see if you have which one. Um, on your control panel. So after this, you're gonna start the search and you're going to download the one and only driver that you're going to need. Once you download your driver and set it up, you're going to, your driver is going to be installed in your computer to be optimized. Now, after this download, you're going to also download this, which is the EVGA Precision XOC, which allows you to edit the settings of your GPU card. You can overclock your system. Now, this takes it out of the stock mode and you also have to put your serial number into this application in order to use it and it could possibly vo void your warranty. Now, is overclocking your GPU card bad for your GPU card? Not necessarily if you know what you're doing, but it also boosts your mining power if you do it successfully and the right way. So after you go to this website, you're going to scroll down and you're gonna have to create an L an account with EVGA and you're going to have to download the standalone version and once you have this downloaded and you have the application up and running you're ready for the next step now you're also going to have to download the v 2.0 windows binaries final version right here and you're going to download cc minor 2.0 release x86 cuda 8.0.7 z now i have the link in the description to this website as well and you're going to download this now when you download this you're going to have to extract it. So don't get confused. You're going to have to extract the files. You're going to extract it with WinRAR. WinRAR is an extracting platform. So you can extract the files through WinRAR and then you'll be able to do the next step. One more thing I forgot to add. You're going to also have to download the Vertcoin Core Wallet from github.com. I'm going to have the link in the description so that you guys can download it. You're going to download whether or not you have a 32-bit computer or a 64-bit computer. You're going to download one of these for the Vertcoin Core Wallet. Now what you're going to do is you're going to wait until the Vertcoin Core Wallet is synchronized and you're going to create a receiving address uh, and you're going to take that receiving address and you're going to use it so that you can receive payments while you're mining or when you're mining. So keep that in mind guys, download the Vertcoin Core Wallet, Windows 32-bit, Windows 64-bit, or even if you're using a Linux computer, you're going to download one of these. So wait till it synchronizes, like I said, and then you're gonna create a receiving address and you're going to use that receiving address for your mining application that you're gonna be using on the CMD file. Hey everybody, so once you have everything downloaded that I talked about previously, you're ready to implement your GPU card into your desktop computer and optimize it to mine Vercoin. Now I have my GTX 1050 Ti plugged into my Windows computer, which is a desktop Windows computer, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly and successfully mine Vercoin. So as you can see, I have EVGA Precision XOC downloaded and GeForce driver 
So now we're going to be downloading the version 2.0 Windows Binary Final, which is the file that contains the CC Miner. And I'm going to be downloading the CC Miner 2.0 release x86 CUDA 8.0.7. I already have it downloaded and you can see that it's a WinRAR file. So we're going to go ahead and open that up or show it in the folder. And then we're going to right click. And then we are going to extract to CC Miner. Now it's going to extract the WinRAR file. Now we're going to go ahead and open up that file that we just extracted. And as you can see, the CC Miner is right there, which is the application that you can see on the desktop right here. Because I have it downloaded previously. So as you guys are going to see, run VTC LYRAV2 on the YIMP pool. You're going to go ahead and right click that and click edit. Then you're going to see a bunch of words and numbers and you're going to go ahead and copy this receiving address and you're going to paste your Vertcoin core receiving address right where we deleted this previous one. Now after doing that you're going to see VTC stats and pause and you're going to go ahead and erase all of that where it only says C equals. Then you're going to go ahead and save that file and you're going to close this window. And now all you have to do is open up what you just saved on the YIMP pool right here and you should be successfully mining Vertcoin or starting to mine Vertcoin and as you can see it's starting to load. It might take a minute. It shows that I am mining at 711 9060. I'm usually mining at around 13 mega hashes per second um, it might take a little while to load up and start hashing at that rate. But as you guys can see, with the yeses, I am successfully mining Vertcoin, which is awesome. Now, I do suggest you take the file, the CC Miner file that we just edited, and copy it to your desktop. You can see that I can't copy it to my desktop because I already have it on my desktop. But it would be best to you know, put it on your desktop so that it's easy access and all you have to do is quickly go in when you're not using your computer you can mine Vertcoin you can see the files are right there and I'm successfully mining Vertcoin so now we're gonna open up EVGA precision XOC now this is for the people that want to overclock their GPU card or fully optimize it not everyone wants to do that so if you don't want to do that you can just skip this part so as you guys can see that my GPU clock is set at 1771 roughly and I have my GPU clock edited and I have it at 100% and 100% temp target and I also have 150 GPU clock offset and mem clock offset to 400. Now every GPU card is going to be different so make sure to search what the number should be and what you need to do to properly overclock and optimize your GPU card. I'm running it off of 1050 Ti and these are the settings that I'm working off of and I have been successfully mining Vercoin. Also, I have my fan on the right hand side set up to 100%. Now you can open up the HW monitoring to, to monitor everything that's going on with the GPU card internally. So I'm just basically changing some settings right now. And I'm still mining Vertcoin successfully. And please remember that you could possibly void your warranty if you use the uh, XOC Precision. Precision XOC. So make sure to look into that and make sure you know what you're doing before you do that. There are other videos on YouTube that will explain it more in depth. Alright guys, I hope you successfully start mining Vertcoin and if you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section below. I will have all the links included in this video that I have used to download everything to start successfully mining Vertcoin. So give me some feedback, make sure to give me a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you guys.